Here is the 17 to 28 GHz down converter. The range of this converter is a bit broader than the K band, the K band as defined in the IEEE standard. It's like opening a window to the K band to my brave 18 GHz spec analyzer. And, and that's pretty cool. This is the RF input, it's a 26.5 GHz SMA connector and is assembled from the inside of the enclosure. Uh, reason why I had to make one side of the box, this side, removable. I used a short length of a RG402 formable cable from Huber Sunner, rated up to 30 GHz. And this cable is branded as Sucoform. On the other side is the 15 GHz plus 15 dBm local oscillator input. And I used here an 18 GHz Amphenol connector together with a length of semi flexible RG405 cable. All the main components in the IF strip, including the mixer, are from many circuits. This is the MDB44H, a double balanced mixer, followed by a fixed 6 dB broadband attenuator, the key K86. And the function of this component is to provide a resistive 50 ohm load to the IF port of the mixer from 4 to 44 gigahertz mitigating reflections and consequently undesired subproduct frequencies. The next component is a 16 gig, 16, uh, 13 gigahertz low pass filter, the LFCN123 and its function is to reject higher frequencies generated in the mixer. Then we have a pair of AVA183P, they are uh, 8 dB amplifiers. And finally the output, 1 to 12 GHz with another length of RG405 cable and another 18 GHz connector. I used here 5.6 nano Henry inductors. They, they are 11 GHz SRF inductors, uh, self resonance frequency, and one 82 nano Henry inductor to present a reasonable high impedance to the MMIC voltage supply path. Finally, we have here the power supply input where I included a crude polarity inversion protection. Notice, I didn't include a filter at the RF input. In the next video, I will talk about this and mainly show the performance of the conver converter in detail.